So I can't believe I'm saying this, but the French police have actually killed another young man. It's barely been a week that uh, they shot dead the 17-year-old uh, boy, Nayel. And now they've killed another man uh, who's called um, Mohamed, 27 years old. And he was uh, uh, killed in Marseille. Now, just to explain the situation to you, uh, the, uh, the official statement from the, the public prosecutor is that there was um, a violent shock um, or, or uh, you know, hit against his thorax, his chest, and he had cardiac arrest and died uh, uh, a sudden death. The thing is, though, that what caused this violent shock? The police, they shot him with uh, one of these um, uh, things called a flash ball. So it's, you could, you know, um, it's like a, a you know, a, basically a, a rubber coated metal bullet. Now, this happened four days ago, but the scandal about this is just coming out now because um, I can guarantee you uh, the last thing Macron and, and the French police want right now is that you find out and the people in France find out that the police have once again killed an innocent uh, uh, um, young man who was doing absolutely nothing. His wife and the public prosecutor have both uh, said that he was not protesting, rioting, looting. The guy is the delivery driver. What do you think was the last thing that he did before being killed? Take a guess. He was filming the police. Again, just to be clear, he filmed this with, with his phone and his, his wife um, gave it to the media. This is the last thing that he filmed. You can see it's just a short video. He's filming police quite a distance from him. And they probably killed him because he was filming them and they don't like that, you know, they don't like uh, being filmed. And just to give you another example, guess what? There is another person who is not dead, but now is in a coma. Because of what? Because of the police shooting him with, with, um, one, uh, with a beanie bag. One of these uh, so-called non-lethal uh, uh, weapons, right? Like they claim. Um, they put it in, in their uh, uh, riot guns and fire it at you. And, it, and it, it can put you in a coma or kill you or bruise you or take out your eye or whatever. Emen Buha, 25 years old. He's not even in hospital in France right now. How is that possible? Mont Saint-Martin is right here. Take a look. It's right on the border between Luxembourg and Belgium. So um, I think he was in Luxembourg with two friends. The French are, are making it more difficult now to find out what happened because they say, well, he's not actually here. When his family went to the uh, police station to file a complaint for putting him in a coma, uh, the police told them that they weren't even out policing the streets. It was the red units. And these are, again, like the CRS, they're, they're uh, some of the most violent um, uh, units in the uh, uh, French police. If you are unable to control people without putting them in a coma or killing them, you're not fit to be in the police.